Top 5 Ghosts Call on Camera Scary Things in Creepy Basements YouTube user Advil claims that while he was upstairs he could hear strange noises and even voices coming from his basement. He goes to check it out and it did not go well. Hello? I'm gonna turn on the light, all right? Hello? 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 Okay. I heard something. Nothing? Is anyone there? A large display case seems to move on its own, and Advil just gets out of there. But two nights later, again he hears the strange voices coming from the basement. I heard some noises again. Hello? No. Did you see it? When slowed down, you can see a dark figure walking across the doorway at the bottom of the stairs. YouTuber Advil says that at the time of this recording, he was renting the house. He recently moved to a new home and says that he has not had any more paranormal experiences. Swedish YouTuber Patrick Janssen claims that when he went down to his apartment's poorly lit basement, he decided to test his new video camera in the dark surroundings. And that's when he saw something truly disturbing. Now, I think it's safe to say that the camera works pretty well in the dark, but what do you think? <laughs> Schools out. Korean ghost hunter Tosa Ochi explores everything from creepy temples to haunted buildings and abandoned mental hospitals. He broadcasts his investigations live on the website africatv.com. Tosa Ochi also uploads the creepiest highlights from his live stream to his YouTube channel. In this video sent in by one of his fans, the ghost hunter investigates an allegedly haunted elementary school in Chalado, South Korea. The school has been abandoned for nearly 20 years. As Tosa Ochi makes his way through the building's creepy hallways, he begins to hear strange unexplained sounds. He hears the loud bang of what sounds like a slamming door and runs for his life from the creepy school building. He doesn't want to go back inside, but after repeated requests by his live stream viewers, he gathers his courage and heads back inside. Oh, 
будет. Tosaochi hears the chilling sound of a school desk moving across the floor somewhere in the building. Then the unexplained sound of something falling nearby sends him running for safety once again. But now, Tosaochi decides to go back inside and try to provoke the spirit to show itself. Boya! 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 Now very freaked out, he decides to set up his camera to record the dark school hallway as he gathers his nerve outside. What he catches on camera is truly chilling. Not one, but two mysterious figures seem to peek out into the dark hallway. Tosaochi heads inside once more, again intending to provoke the spirits that haunt the school. It did not go well. So good, Did you see it? Someone or something seems to be silently walking along the second floor. To see more of Tosa Ochi's investigations, you can head over to his YouTube channel or you can watch his almost daily live streams on africatv.com. Come hell or high water. The popular YouTuber TechRax has been testing the durability of technology for years, especially the Samsung Galaxy series and the Apple iPhone. On his channel, you can watch these phones get destroyed in pretty much every way imaginable. He drops them from extreme heights, he crushes them with cars, shocks them with tasers, pounds them with hammers, there's hot knives, gas torches, and even a lawnmower. You name it, and Tegrax has probably thrown an iPhone at it. However, when testing the durability of his brand new iPhone 11 Pro, things take an unexpected turn. He travels seven hours to an isolated spot in the Nevada desert. He plans to drop the iPhone 11 into a 50 foot deep hot spring named Diana's Punch Bowl. For unknown reasons, this hot spring is also known by the name, The Devil's Cauldron. And we made it to the location, guys. I apologize in advance if it's super windy. We're basically in the middle of this desert. Uh, I wanna show you guys the rig of what exactly is gonna go on first before I even show you the hole. Now I wanna show you guys the actual hole. So as I'm walking close, just a couple steps here. Pretty crazy guys, you can see there's steam coming straight out of this water. It's supposed to be about 140 to 180 degrees Fahrenheit, so you will burn yourself if you tried uh, like taking a dip in here, but it's super sick, literally in the middle of nowhere. Now, the first time TechRex drops his recording iPhone into the extremely hot water, the phone comes out fine and the footage shows nothing particularly strange. But 
the second time he drops his phone into the devil's cauldron, things get a little weird. When he reviews the footage later, he's shocked by what he finds. Tegrax says he has no idea what could have caused this strange underwater screaming, especially since his first recording didn't pick up any odd sounds at all. So just what do you think this strange sound from the Devil's Cauldron could be? Let me know down in the comments. You can watch this full video as well as Tegrax's examination of the footage over on his YouTube channel. Hider in the Hallway This next video was shared to Facebook by Jennifer Majors who works as the manager of the Haunted Eagle's Nest Hotel in Quincy, Illinois. Employees at the hotel claim to have seen unexplained shadows in the hotel's halls and heard bizarre childlike giggling when no one else was around. When supplies began to mysteriously disappear from the housekeeper's cleaning carts, Jennifer checked the CCTV footage for an explanation. But instead, she found something downright terrifying. In the empty hallway, a childlike shadow figure can be seen quickly running from the elevator towards the cart and then mysteriously darting back out of sight. Now this could just be explained away as a CCTV compression error, but that doesn't explain the speed of the movement. Also it should be noted that there is no light seen coming from inside the elevator. So the elevator doors that this figure seems to run out of are closed. So is this the ghost of a child running around the Eagle's Nest Hotel? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Down below. Reddit user Spiders Are Disgusting says that this next video was filmed a few years back while they were outside doing stunts on their trampoline. Later, when they watched their video back, this. Did you see it? Watch again. What looks like a little girl with long dark hair wearing a white dress crawls out from under the trampoline at a very unnatural angle. What makes it even creepier is that some Reddit viewers note that the girl's neck looks like it's bent sideways. Reddit user Spiders Are Disgusting says that to this day, they have no idea who this mysterious disappearing girl is. But what do you think? Thanks for watching. If you see a video that you think should be in the top five, be sure to email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com and follow me on Twitter at nukestop5. See you next week.